Hey Jared and the rest of the Alpha Dog Tribe. So Sean and I are actually here in Atlanta at Jim's f and I's seminar and we decided to shoot this video for you really quickly before we go to dinner with the Zigglers. Uh, so to answer your question, Sean and I are gonna both kinda jump in here. Okay, so the question was, Karen? So the question was, if a customer emails you and requests an e-price, do you still call them? You said you have a phone number, but you, I assume, attempted to call them and there was no phone number. So do you still call them or do you send the price or do you ignore it? Okay, so um, can I jump in? Absolutely. All right, so th this is a disclaimer. This is not the only way to do it, but this is the dealer synergy way to do it. Remember, I've been doing this for 17 straight years, internet sales and BDC, and all of our clients in dealer synergy, which is We've worked with almost a thousand dealerships in the last 12 years that we've owned the company. And here's what we preach. No, you do not send an internet price through an email. However, there's, a, there's a, um, an exception to the rule. If your manufacturer mandates that you do so, then you do so, but only for the manufacturer leads. What I recommend, what Karen recommends, is that you do not send um, any type of pricing at first. Here's the reason why. Uh, the email should do what? It sells the phone call. It's just an escalation process. You need to get them on the phone. Yeah, it's only a 7% communication medium. Why would you try to sell yourself the dealership or the product through a 7% communication medium? It's a hell of a lot easier in an email to escalate or sell the phone call. And the phone call sells the appointment, builds the relationship, product presentation, demo drive delivery. That's the first thing. Second thing, these are two, actually three more very, very big facts. Over 80% of people that submit a purchase request are gonna buy something yes. different, Jared. Second, only 20% of people are solely price motivated. And third, for example, 46 plus percent of people that submit a new car purchase lead are gonna wind up buying a used car. So if you turn around and just you know send them a price, 96% of these people- are gonna shop that price anyway. Absolutely. So you're gonna send a price that's gonna get shopped anyway. And you're never gonna hear from them again. And here's the other thing. Well, not some of them they will, but then it'll be a price grind this and that. Yeah, you know, but there's people, uh, in, in my opinion, that might say, you know, email me only, but guess what we do? Even if there's no phone number, first thing we're gonna do is try to do a reverse lookup. We're gonna call 411 and try to get a reverse lookup. If we can't do that, we're gonna use social media. A lot of CRMs today have social media integration, but if you have a ColecoVision old school CRM, you could just kind of cut the email address, drop into Google, Facebook, LinkedIn, etc. Or if you wanna go cray cray with it and be like, I find you, you go to spokio.com because check this out, you need an opportunity to do business to do business. You can't sell something to? To no one. Exactly. <laughs> so listen, check this out. We are literally right here in the quick hotel room. We're in a suite at the Embassy Suites, and we just want to respond to you because this is like something we're very passionate about. The other thing is, come on, for all you car people out there, would you turn around and just up somebody or greet somebody at your dealership and, and just- say, here's the price. <laughs> No, you get bounced out of there if you worked at any real dealership. You Why? You present any value. And check it out. NADA, JD Power says 92 to 99% of Americans that walk into your dealership are internet customers. They've been on the internet to do some form of research, shopping, whatever. So if we're not gonna drop to our bottom line price or our special you know, internet price when somebody walks through the door, why am I gonna do that on the internet? And up is an up, you know, a prospect is a prospect. Doesn't make any kind of sense. Right. And if your competitor catches them on the phone, if they do call that phone number, then there's, you know, most likely they're going to get the deal over you because of the whole science of communications and then being able to get them to actually sell the appointment to come into the dealership versus just sending them a price through email. Now, you're probably thinking, oh, that's not going to work. Listen to me. Since this is the Alpha Dog Tribe, I'm going to say it. Bullshit. We've got clients right now. I got a client in New Jersey, a Hyundai Chrysler dealership. We took from 75 units on the internet to 245 units on the internet at $2,300 a copy. True story. Okay. Again, just look. We got 22 different covers of every magazine. We do this over and over again. Now, like I'm saying to you before, is this the only way to do it? No. This is just our way. You you ask the Bradleys to turn on and comment in, and I Karen was going to turn on type. I was like, oh hell no. Mm -hmm. What you need to be able to do is make sure that we do this quick video because people are going to be like flagging this. So again. This is not the only way to do this, but look, 
the average closing ratio is about 10 to 12 percent on the internet and again you might think somebody might say that's more than that bs listen to me if you have 2,000 leads i want to see somebody doing like higher than that realistically including the residual flow factor this dealership i just mentioned in north jersey they get about 1100 to 1400 fresh leads and they get about another thousand to you know 1400 carryover leads through the residual flow factor so yes they're getting between 10 and 12 percent of total opportunity which is ridiculous so they're ROI to death and they're grossing because here's the thing on the show floor the rules of engagement are what you know obviously to do a road to the sale what's the purpose of the road to the sale to build value to build value to build value and that's the purpose of the telephone call hundred percent again anybody could go through the old school you know word tracks have you driven a car yet no come on down or the, the big sales some stupid mm -hmm. stuff like that our goal is to identify, meet, and exceed. Identify the prospect's wants, wishes, expectations, not just the vehicle. The seven main reasons why people are going online are price, availability, convenience, I hate car salesman, research, trade, and credit. Fact. After you met those expectations, you need to turn around and make sure that you got the root, not just the surface objection or expectation. After you've done that, you need to identify wants, wishes, and expectations by, mm, by also, uh, asking the the harder questions let me let me go back for a second let's just say for example somebody says price if you turn around and uh, kind of give them a bottom line price then what you don't know if there's other things there it's like when you up somebody and they just say i'm just looking right they're that, they're programmed to say that they're scripted to say that they're conditioned hell when i go to best buy and they approach me ah, i'm just looking and then like an idiot two seconds later i'm like uh can you help me find the, the where the nintendo games are or whatever for the wii you so my point being is that so you you get the surface issue right then what then what happens you get what i'm saying so most people do not turn around and find what the root issue really is they just get the the simple you know reflective response and that's not good once you find and identify the real want wish expectations then you need to meet it and then you exceed it by presenting what's different and better about your organization what is your dealership's value package proposition i'm telling you that's how you're going to turn on build value just like on the show on floor you do a product presentation and you do a demo drive right to build value to max gross and max conversions well on the phones what you need to do to max appointment shows see my people don't set appointments my people don't ask for the appointments my clients Sell appointments. sell appointments we sell the appointment how do you do that because we provide a tremendous amount of value that we exceed their expectations and so they have to they want to come in because they feel that coming in is the most important thing because of all the incredible things they're gonna get the amazing deal and experience the other thing remember what I said in the beginning about all the details think about it why are you gonna go and engage in Mortal Kombat and give prices or availabilities on vehicles they might not qualify for, they might not want, that are not available, etc.? It's that's not the rules of engagement. Engage, escalate, email sells the phone call, phone call sells the appointment, the appointment builds a relationship, product presentation, demo drive, delivery. I'm out.